What do we got here, Mr. Vic? What do we have here? I think we have your box box. I think it is. Talking to myself. Yes, I am. I wanted to show you guys this cartoon on the side of this bark box. It is so cute. So the side it says, yap, 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 yap. And then it says, I hate when I forget why I'm barking. That is totally Vic. He forgets why he's barking all the time. Anyway, this is my bark box for March. I want to first tell you guys that I'll be reviewing, I think it's three new dog subscription boxes coming up. So excited. And one other new subscription box that's not a dog subscription box. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing it probably within the next week or so. Very exciting. At least one of the dog boxes and the other non-dog box in the next week because those have already shipped. I know that, but I'm not telling you which ones they are. It's going to be a surprise. So inside the March box, of course, we have the card. It looks like that. Roxy's over here looking out the window. I wish she'd join us. The back does have the products listed. However, you know me. I don't, I don't do that. So inside March's box looks like that. It looks chock full of stuff there. Roxy, I don't know if you guys can hear her at the window. Yeah, now you look at me because you're being a jerk. Anyway, moving on. The first thing is from Pet Quirks Toys. This is their P145 newspaper. It has crinklies in it and multiple squeakers. Oh, these guys are going to love it. Oh, this might be, hmm. You can put stuff in it, I guess. You see it's open on both ends and I can touch my hands in the middle. Maybe a water bottle can go in there? I'm not sure. It says not intended as a chew toy. Okay. Anyway, it looks like this. It is a little doggy newspaper. Be interested, interesting to read the actual little stories there if you guys wanted to read them. There's the stories there if you want to pause the video. They're <laughs> totally cute. Anyway, there's the tag, Pet Quirks Toys, and the back in case you wanted the model number. Can you hold that and not eat it? Okay. Next up is a box of treats. These are organic dog biscuits, and these are from Wagatha's. We have had treats from Wagatha's before, and my dogs did like them. These are from Vermont, I believe. It says Vermont Baked Goodness, and they, they are wheat, corn, and soy free, which is great because if you are familiar with my dogs, Roxy and Vic, you know Roxy is on a wheat-free diet right now. These are, these, <laughs> this is their breakfast dog treats. They are apples, bananas, and maple oats. There's the flavor there. The box looks like that. And the treats are just little crunchy little bones. These are made in the U.S. I love that. Can you hold that for me? Thank you. Next up, we have something from Pet Project. Hmm. Oh, no. This squeaks. He's already like, ooh. This is awesome. This is by Pet Project. This is the dog egg. It says stylish, fun, durable, 100% natural rubber, squeaky, squeak wobble toy. This is awesome. I guess this is in the large dog egg. 100% safe. It says it's BPA free, lead free, cadmium free, and phthalate free. The tag looks like that, and the egg looks like that. has a little paw print with their logo there on the back. Looks like that. It smells like rubber. Oh, he's going to go nuts over this. You like that? He loves rubber squeaky toys. They're his favorite. I'm going to put this right here because if not, he'll snatch it. Next is something we're really familiar with. This is something from Edda Says. Roxy's here to join us. She's like, I like that one, Ma. This is their Crunchy Duck Chew. Oh, Vic likes it too. We've bought a few of these from PetFlow.com. The treat looks like that, just a crunchy little stick. These are a great deal on PetFlow.com. I'll have my referral link down below if you guys want to use it. I believe you can get these for around a dollar a piece, and sometimes they have these flavors on that website for a penny a piece. Most of the time, the ones that are a penny are a limit one or two. However, who, who doesn't want two dog treats for two cents? I'll take it. My dogs have had these. We have quite a few downstairs. These are a frequent treat. Again, like I said, I bought a bunch when they were a dollar a piece. My dogs definitely like those treats. Last item in my bark box is something from Superior Farms, which we are familiar with. My dogs love these treats from Superior Farms. These are their dog treat waffles, and these are in venison, 100% venison. 
They're grain free New Zealand, New, why can't I ever say this? New Zealand venison. So the bag looks like that. It's a huge bag. This is a three ounce bag, looks like that. And the actual treats, I hope you guys can see them there. There's a little window there, right there. Little tiny chunky treats there. These look awesome. I believe they're made in the US. Uh, again, they're by Superior Farms Pet Provisions. You like it, Beth? Here, can you hold that too? Thank you. So there was everything. Look, the box is empty, see? Aside from the egg, which he's gonna steal. Here, you wanna hold this one too since you're holding everything? Leave it. Can you leave this? Leave it. Hey, leave it. There we go. There was everything in my March Bark Box. If you guys want to check out Bark Box, I'll have my referral link down below. I'd really appreciate it if you used it. Being that I do pay for this box with my own money. Again, please subscribe to my channel because I'll have three new dog boxes, three or four actually, new dog boxes that I have not reviewed before coming up soon. And then again, another non-dog subscription box coming up soon too. You guys will find out at least two of them in the next week or so. As always, guys, oh, if you guys get BarkBox, did you like your BarkBox this month? Did you guys get the same stuff as we did? Let me know down below. And as always, guys, I thank you so, so much for watching. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye now. Booty-boo.